<laughs> First time filming with the drilled out mics on the GoPro 6 and I hope they're working good. I got a bunch of exhaust parts here now and I really wanna work on the exhaust. But before I do that, I'm gonna extend my steering shaft. You know, since I slid the cab back four inches, the steering shaft's gonna need extended at least four inches back. Oh, I already pulled it out of there. Here we go, this little guy right here. And you know, these U-joints go bad, by the way. I had to replace this already. And we just had a 2006 Tacoma in the shop same exact truck, but it was extended cab, but still it had one of these that was bad. And I saved it, so here it is. And look, it's jammed up, can't even bend this. Can bend it this way, but it's really tight. Okay, but I saved it. So I have a good one off of my truck and I have this one that's pretty jammed up off of that 2006 truck. So the easiest thing to do would be to extend this shaft up here where my hand is. However, I know the best way to do it would be to extend it, fucker. I know the best thing to do would be to extend the bottom half of it uh, for a few reasons, but I don't want to get into that. But anyway, it's going to be more of a pain, but I think I figured out how I'm going to do it. So let's get started. All right, so I'm over here at the workbench. I got my vise here. This is my good steering shaft. I'm going to clamp this right here in the vise. And then I figured out that this half inch extension fits snugly down in there, okay? See that? Pretty snug anyway. I mean, it's not perfect. Don't worry, I'm not going to weld that in place. But I'm going to use this to line these up because I can take this one, slide it down over there too. And then I found this little guy right here. This is just the center of a bushing or something. Basically, it's a metal spacer and it's just about the right size, the right length. The center here is bigger than it has to be, but that's okay. It's not gonna matter. I'm gonna take my extra piece here. Really, dude? Really? <laughs> I didn't think you were right there. Yeah, I can hear you piss splattering on the side of the fucking garage. Jesus. All right. So here's my extra shaft. The U-joint's bad, but I only need this piece, so I'm gonna cut this off right here. We need to add like at least four inches, just over four probably. Um, but this is, oh, that's about two. And that's about two as well. So it's gonna be about right. So basically I need to add all of this, all right? So I'm just gonna cut this off. You know, I was gonna cut it like this, but I realized that's gonna shorten it. So I'm gonna cut the ears off of this. You know, no one really thinks about this, but if you're trying to film and you're shooting sparks everywhere, it takes a lot more time to do this because you gotta flip stuff around so you don't hit the camera with sparks. I mean, that's considering I don't have a cameraman. If I had a cameraman, I'd just be like, bro, you gotta go to that side now, but I don't, so here we go. So we got this little piece right here and I'm going to clean this up a little bit. All right. Dad, yeah. Come eat your food. I will. All right. This is ready to weld on now. This is the piece that's going to clamp onto the steering rack. Here's my good U joint. So basically, so basically we're just going to extend this. It's going to be like this long now. So instead of this being this long, it's going to be this long. Got it? Well, now I got to get all the paint off of this one. By the way, I do realize this is a steering component. This is not to be fucked with. All right. I am smart enough to make sure that this is going to be very solid. I do understand the consequences. If my steering fails, I'm going like 100 miles an hour and I can't turn. So this is a big deal to me. If you're a liberal, go ahead and comment, but uh, your comments mean nothing to me because I'm not stupid.
now I got my spacer. I'm gonna have to clean this thing up too. Spacer's cleaned up now, no rubber residue, no paint or nothing, ready to weld. Now, I could do this without a vice BT dubs, but since I have one, I'm gonna use it. Remember this, half inch drive extension, it's right down in there, nice and snug. So, this is gonna go up in here. You see what I'm saying? If I only had to extend this two inches, we could weld this directly on there and we'd be good to go but we need four inches. So we're gonna slide this down in here. Oh, that's a fucking tight fit in that one, boys. Well, wow, that's, whew, ooh, wow. That's really tight. Okay, all right, stop the press, stop the press. Fuck. It's coming, don't worry. Okay, well anyway, you know, it doesn't fit in this one as well because this one was like a little rusted. This one here was pretty new on my truck. I just replaced it not long ago. Let me work this thing a little bit here. I mean, the tighter this fits, the better, as long as I can get this back out of it when we're done. So, whew, man, it's fucking snug though. I cleaned this thing out already because I didn't want to have this problem on camera, but Okay, well, it's gonna go through. Let me take this out first. Put this one in here. Okay. Okay, you guys. Stay right there. Okay. See? Oh, I just had to get through. I see. It's nice and snug, though. That is exactly what we want. Oh, look. Now that I beat it through, it's good. Look at this, you guys. Oh yeah, just watching all that whip bash bikini contest footage. Oh yeah. All right, so we got this sliding in and out of there quite easily now. So let's clamp the good shaft back in here. And now we can stick that down in there, but don't forget the spacer, okay? We put the spacer in, we put this in. Make sure that, oh yes, that's down all the way. I hope you can see that. It's down in there, look, I mean, so. All right, all the extension is gonna do is keep this all lined up for us. Cause if that wasn't there, whoops. Cause if that wasn't there, you know, this might go on crooked. Like, you know, this is an extreme example, but you know, this is gonna keep this lined up. And that's pretty important because this is gonna spin around in circles, at least, you know, two and a half or five rotations or whatever. So, as you can see, we can't go out around very much with that down through the center. So this is perfect. This is how I'm gonna chalk this up to weld it. And you know what? If the U-joint ever fails in this, I can always cut this off and just do this again in a new one. Well, since my spacer's a little loose, I'm just gonna put that on first. I'm gonna wiggle it around and center it. And really, it's not gonna matter anyway, but I'd prefer to have it centered. So let's tack this on first. So I'm gonna jiggle this around until it's centered pretty well. Make sure this thing's centered. Looks good. And as you can see, still pretty centered. I can still jiggle this around, slide it in and out. So now I'm gonna put this one on just the same way, like this. Now I did double check this already, but I'm gonna show you guys. Just over four inches is the extension we want. I mean, everyone wants a little extension. We're at like four and an eighth, which is probably perfect for this. So we're gonna jiggle this one around now. Make sure it's nice and centered on here, all right? And I'm also gonna sight it, make sure these are pretty straight as far as this goes. I don't know if it makes a big difference, but I'm gonna keep it straight just in case. A little sloppy, but it's gonna work. 
Okay, now, hopefully I can still pull this out. Ooh, okay, but uh, yes, I can. But while this is still hot, I'm gonna leave it in there. This is gonna help to keep this straight while this gets hot, because you know when things get hot, they can bend around, they can work. So this is gonna stay in here. It's a little snug. I'm gonna triple check my measurements here. You know, measure twice, cut once. Uh, we are extending this exactly four and ooh, three thirty seconds. That's an exact measurement. Let me show you what this is gonna look like. Like so. So now this is gonna bolt to the steering rack instead of bolting to the steering rack here. Just gonna push it back four inches, just like we did to the cab. So this should work pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and weld her up. Yep. Yeah. Hold on. We have the airline. Dude, Grab I'm filming right now. Chill. But D A D. Hey, get me some water. For what? I have to finish welding this. I want to weld it all at once. Hurry up. Give me some water. For what? Like a little bottle of water, a bucket of water, anything. All right, looking good. We don't want to get this too hot down here and melt the seals out of this. But I think it's gonna be okay, but I'm gonna run this out and dump some water on this just to be safe. Don't oh, Cameron got me some water. It's fine, dude, stop it. No, I wanna see if this works. All right, so by the way, I just dumped water up here. I didn't dump it right on the weld. So now I'm gonna weld this end. simple mod you guys as long as it goes back on the truck and doesn't cause any issues I'll be happy although I might have to bang the frame in or notch the frame I'm not sure yet we're gonna find out when I put it back on Sco squad All right, here it is. Just gotta spray a little flat black on there so it looks all right. Make sure it still slides back in, you guys. Look at that. All the way, oh wait, nope. You know what, oh. Might have tweaked a little bit. Since it pulled down. But, oh great, now that's stuck in there. Way to go, Mike, way to go. It's straight enough for the guy's bear dates. Hey bear, what are you doing? Playing out my car because Dave's too much of a girly man to fucking sit on a little bit of trash. A little bit? Dude, that's a trash can full. That's a What's going on back here? Right, Came from the Hotel Inn. <laughs> or holiday the Hotel Inn. The holiday oh my God. <laughs> and what are you gonna do with that, bear? What? <laughs> 